Hey there, it's Dave Duford from Final Expense Agent Mentor at feagentmentor.com. Today we're going to have a little chat about rapport. What exactly is rapport in the sales process and more specifically, how much rapport is enough before actually going into the pitch and the introduction of the rest of the sales process. Okay, so let's define rapport for you guys that are not familiar in sales. Rapport is simply the act of creating conversation to get the prospect to like you and to loosen up. That's it, that's it, it's simple. It's a very simple process, but part of the reason I made this video is because it can be complicated. If you really start to think about this stuff a little more than normal, you realize, well, how much rapport should I say? What should I ask about? What shouldn't I? When should I stop it? When's it good to kind of start selling the person? You know, and it kind of gets to the point of a lot of analysis, which can lead to paralysis, which is why I'm making this video. So, what kind of rapport should a brand new agent focus on? Well, I'm a big advocate that how much ever rapport it takes for this person to lighten up, loosen up, and kind of be comfortable with you is plenty. It may take five minutes. It may take an hour. I don't care, and nor should you. Because if that's what it takes to get these people to lighten up, feel comfortable with the process, and actually want to buy from you, then I'm all game. That's exactly what you want, and that's what's going to make the biggest difference. So with that said, as a, boot, as a new agent, your focus should just be on asking basic questions. No need to overcomplicate rapport. You know, just walk in, look at what they have, shake their hand, make eye contact with them, a little small talk, maybe ask them about you know, a picture over here or the golf club on the wall or the fish on the wall. Just start talking. A lot of these people are lonely. They don't get a lot of visitors, so they can't wait for them to spill their guts on you, okay? So it's usually a lot easier than you probably think it would be. But the idea is just to be genuine. Just be yourself. Don't feel like you have to have some five-point script with bullet points and details and all that nonsense. It's, it's unnecessary. Just go in, be yourself. You're a friendly guy. Be that friendly guy the people you see. Now, that's for if you're a new agent. I have a different approach as an advanced agent, one who's been in this business long enough. Rapport for me takes a backseat to trust, to confidence, to the guy that I want to buy life insurance from because he knows what he's talking about. That's what I'm concerned about is becoming that guy. I may not be the nicest guy, but I know how to get things done in a manner that's going to suit the client's desires and what they want. So how does this affect rapport? So my focus on rapport isn't nearly as much as it was when I first started. I may come in, do a little bit of small talk, but you know what this is about? I'm here because you sent the card in and I'm here to help you out to give you the information you requested. And it's hard to explain when you've been doing this long enough, you've written more than a thousand policies, you've seen thousands of people, you've run every kind of presentation you could feasibly run, you know what you're doing. And the confidence naturally exudes out of you. You don't have to play Mr. Nice Guy to get to the point of why you're there. It's just natural. It's hard to explain. Um, guys who've been in this business a long time do it naturally. Some guys are great with the aw shucks, nice guy routine, and that's what does it for them. We all kind of have our shtick. But a lot of agents eventually they come in and they look at themselves as the expert. That they're extremely confident in what they do and that exudes themselves when they're actually in a sales call and they can demonstrate that just by their natural disposition, their body language, how they pick the words they pick and the manner and the pace in which they speak communicate something non-verbally to that client that this guy knows what he's talking about. And you'll eventually grow into that role uh, as you do this business longer and longer and you'll realize that this business is all about trust and creating the environment for trust. Obviously you want to do a little rapport building. I still do it. Every agent does it to an extent. It's not a wham bam thank you ma'am without any kind of acknowledgement or connection. But it is a business in which you need to demonstrate your knowledge and capability and um, it becomes easier as you're more experienced of course. So my name is Dave Duford, Final Expense Agent Mentor at feagentmentor.com. If you got any questions about rapport building, it's pretty straightforward. No need to overcomplicate this. Just be yourself. Go in and do it. Go down here to the bottom of this YouTube video and make some comments. Also, subscribe to my videos. Go to my website at feagentmentor.com. Check out my articles and all the great information I have for final expense agents. Totally for free. 
thank you for listening. Take care.